This is Don Moody of HandymanReality.com. I'm here uh, in this recently renovated bathroom to uh, install a bidet uh, wand on the toilet. This is pretty common for uh, some people in the world. And uh, this particular one is from Lowe's. And there's their WW at the very bottom if you, if you like the look of it. I've already taken the parts out. So we have a hook up here. Well, the first thing we're going to do is flush the toilet to make sure it's empty. Take off the top there for a moment. This is where the handle is going to hang. Now we're going to take the handle. We're going to take a washer. We'll put the washer in the fluted side. One side is shaped like a nut. And the other side is, is uh, tapered. We're going to put a washer in the tapered side. And just screw it onto the handle. And we can drop the handle right into its spot. Now we're going to take the other side. We're going to install a washer in the this nut here, which is going to connect to right here on the toilet. And uh, we're going to install a washer on this nut side of the hose. And we're going to screw that onto the one that's the right size, right? Now, I recommend to you that uh, whenever you do something up like this, it's nut shaped for a reason. You should maybe give it an extra quarter to a half a turn. Now, this particular part here is going to install, like I say, on here. So we're going to shut off the supply to the toilet. We're going to be uh, make sure that we have uh, a catch basin nearby to undo this. This connection here looks just like this one. It's a hand, uh, a hand connection. So you can actually undo it yourself and do this yourself. But you want to catch the water that's going to drip out because sometimes there's a liter or two. Okay. So now we are going to take this with a washer inside. I'm going to turn it so the hose is on the inside. And we are going to install it on the... Now every time I, I put a nut on plastic threads, I turn it backwards so it goes click a little bit. You can feel it. And then I turn it forwards. And this is where... Now as I tighten these, I hold the uh, top of the toilet. I just, uh, something's bugging me about this. Just give me one second. Let me, again, make sure that it's landing where I want it to on the threads. You never want to cross thread something. If things are too hard, you can't get a few turns, then something is going on. You should be able to turn it on mostly by hand when something is new. And then this should start to feel snug. So, we're going to give this a little extra turn. Again, with that anything nut shaped, gets an extra quarter to a half a turn. Make sure that the nut, or pardon me, the washer, ah, flattens nicely and will perform the seal. Not too much, though. Okay, so now our hose is connected. This is connected. And uh, as the water is off there, we don't like this one. This one's dripping, the valve is dripping. Don't ask me why on a new uh, bathroom the valve would be dripping. But we have a shorter one since the length is shortened anyways. So we are going to take this compression nut off, which for some crazy reason somebody has put Teflon thread on, even though it's actually doesn't help ceiling surface. These, these braided lines are fast, they're good for a homeowner. Look at the water gush out of there. Look at it drip away. So we will quickly change that. And I'll make sure the hoses aren't going to get tied up. This has a cone-shaped washer inside, so it already is built in. You can just 
Just tighten this up. Hold your T while you tighten this up by hand. And the, the average person as tight as you can tighten by hand. If you're of course a muscle man, don't push your luck. Okay, so now look at that. We have a dripping faucet. Fire the handyman. <laughs> well, especially if he leaves that. So this is a compression nut. The threads have got this tape on it and stuff, which makes it difficult to just screw things on correctly. So we're going to gently turn it on until this line doesn't turn easily. It should turn a little bit, but not easily. So that should actually solve our, our leak issue. And we should be able to turn the water on where the toilet will fill. If you had a problem with this uh, stem leaking, you might turn this another quarter turn, mm -hmm. but not around the stem. I'd like to give you a little troubleshooting advice at the same time. So now we should be able to turn the valve on and have a water war. It's all the way around. We talked about that, but this valve is kind of weird. So, uh, yes, for cleaning your toilet, if you're an American or North American, uh, this could be handy, but try not to get splashed. That could be kind of grody. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And you pop the lid back on. And we are good to go. We wait 15 minutes to ensure that there are no leaks. Uh, one little trick I use sometimes when changing valves Things like this. My God! Oh, the toilet paper is outside here. Excuse me one oh. second. I take a small chunk of toilet paper. Hmm. I fold it up a little bit when the floor is dry underneath. I Check. lay this there. Checkpoint. And if the if a drop falls on there in the next 15 minutes, then I know I need to tighten something or adjust something. Sometimes it's wise to just wipe it first before your 15 minutes starts. This has been Don Moody of HandymanReality.com. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy your bidet.